I made a high converting UGC ad on Meta utilizing 100% AI and this ad scaled. Not only that, I typically spend about $9.6 million a year on ads and about half of my ad spend. So that's right, about $4 million a year goes towards AI generated ads exactly like the one I'm about to show you in this video. And so in this video, I want to show you my process to creating a stream of AI UGC ads to power your business's ads. If you're new to the channel, you don't yet know who I am. My name is Justin and I run an e-commerce paid ads agency, which has profitably generated over 30 million dollars in client revenue over the last four years and across about 160 plus clients. With that said, let's get straight into today's video. So I'll be showing you exactly how to use a tool called Arcads today with which I've been able to produce again, lots of very realistic AI videos for my clients. And I'll build one of those ads with you today and we'll even take it live on an ad account from scratch. The first step to give one of these AI models or AI actors is obviously going to be the script. So how do we come up with a high converting script that where you have some certainty that it will convert. Let me show you my scripting process, which utilizes, as you've guessed it, AI to script the ad. So first of all, just a little bit of theory right here. When it comes to making a UGC ad, you need to have some building blocks or kind of framework in mind when thinking about this ad. You need to know the persona. So who are you making this ad for? Now you need to know what are you talking about in this ad? What is the mass market desire? What is the overall angle of this ad? Then you need to know the how. How are you going to speak to this audience? How is the messaging going to be positioned in the ad script. And then last but not least, obviously you have the product and benefit that you will highlight. One little caveat I want to throw in in this video is be careful not to list out too many benefits or features of a product. Focus your attention and therefore the viewer's attention into one core feature and benefit of your product to not overwhelm them. And now the next logical step you might ask is, Justin, how do I come across these pillars right here? How do I figure those out? Good question. So where do I do research? I typically look into two types of research, owned data, so my own data, and market data, which is very useful if I come out with a new product or with a new brand or with, with something for which I don't yet have data. So if I don't yet have data myself, I would look through competitor websites. I would look through their, their product listings. I would look through Amazon, Quora, Reddit for customer reviews, more specifically, social media comments, YouTube for product reviews, comments and transcripts and Facebook groups. And I'll show you how I use this data in just a second. Now, if you own any data already, then I would look into Ads Manager, Google Analytics, Shopify, customer reviews, product listings, post-purchase surveys, triple wall, and much more. And I would personally typically combine all of this research or dump quote unquote, this research into what I call my research center. The two most important things for you to research on is your persona. So the who and the what your product, the how will figure itself as you do your research, which I'll get to again in just a second. So persona, some of the things that you might want to look into online, again, Reddit and competitor reviews. Also, Amazon reviews are goldmine for figuring out this information. A lot of people give away their age, they give away their gender, you can figure this out also by the names that people use within those reviews. You you can figure a lot of stuff out about the persona just by looking through reviews. So again, some of the stuff I typically like to figure out is my persona gender, age, some statistics, if I have any on the audience, known facts of the audience, and then all of these questions I would ask about my persona. So demographics, characteristics of my persona that they want others to see in them, which all of that you can extract from your reviews. One tip I'll give you is if you have a list of reviews that you either own, or if you do not own any reviews, I would say build a Google spreadsheet and just copy and paste some Reddit threads and Reddit comments you see about a specific product or go to Google and say Amazon reviews exporter. And then you can download one of these Chrome extensions as an example that allows you to scrape through customer reviews on any Amazon listings. And it would download those reviews as a CSV file on your side. And then all you can do is go to GPT, upload this CSV file or copy and paste all the customer reviews you would have found on Reddit, Quora and other websites and ask GPT all of the following questions you have right here. And so what I can do in this case is I can go to a product right here that has tons of reviews and all I can do is open up the extension I would have just downloaded and go to download reviews. And now you're left with a CSV that looks like that. You basically have a bunch of reviews from a product that is a competitor's product, which usually should be very similar to yours. And therefore the persona targeted by this said product should fit with yours. Now let's take that to ChatGPT and ask it all the questions that you need about the persona. And here's what I got from GPT. So I literally put a list right here. I just asked it this following prompt. So here's a list of customer reviews from my competitor's product. I want you to help me define my persona by answering the below questions based on these reviews. Here's all the questions. And it gave me very strong answers about 
about the demographics, about the characteristics of my prospect, the beliefs about themselves, what the prospect wants to achieve in society, uh, solutions they've tried before, so on and so forth. And if you scroll down, the how. How should I speak to my persona? They are most likely solution aware. Now, very important. Remember that because we'll get back to that in just a second. Now, quite simple for the product side of things, you simply want to list out all the features and benefits that your product has to offer. So you can do that again on a separate Google Sheet on your side. And now let's head back to ChatGPT. Based on what we figured out earlier, what I want to do is I want you to follow the same prompt that I have on screen right now, which is quite a massive prompt. So I'll be going through that prompt with you right now. But again, this prompt should give you a banger of a UGC script that we can then have an AI actor record for you, which I'll get to in a second. So hello, GPT. I want us to ID a UGC script for the course name, which is one of my client's program right here that I want to advertise through an ad I'm about to make with you. Are you familiar with UGC? They are like video scripts, but told by regular people from a relatable and real approach. Often they are presented as story times. I would like to ideate some scripts approximately on a concept I had in mind. Here's the data. Concept, I typically give a name to the concept or the ad I want to create. Now, mass market desire. Now, typically based on the answers that we got earlier, you can kind of already extract some of the desires of the audience. If you're not yet a tuned from a creative mind. Well, you see, you can simply ask GPT, what are some of my markets mass desires? And then it'll give you a few desires that your audience most likely deeply wants. So as an example, we have a desire for health and energy uh, boost. Now, one thing I'll just correct in my prompt is please frame those as I want to statements. And then it'll typically give me those as I want to statements, which is what I prefer. They're usually easier for you to work with. So I want to feel energized throughout the day without crashes. I want to improve my overall health by making mindful natural choices, so on and so forth. This is exactly what I did right here is I have an I want to statement that fits my client's demographic. Now, awareness level, I took that exactly from a thread like what we've done earlier here. I literally took the awareness level. So the how the positioning of my message that GPT gave me. Now, if you're unfamiliar with that, this is essentially how your script will sound, right? If you talk too much about the product to someone who doesn't yet is really familiar with that product, then chances are you're going to lose them in the ad. If you talk too broad, if you try and educate them, well, you might lose some someone who already is somewhat knowledgeable about the topic. So you will got to figure out how to speak to them. Okay. So awareness level, I put it here. Now idea. Okay. Let's skip ahead of sophistication stage. You don't necessarily need that idea. You give it a general guideline of what you wanted to do. Okay. So like, what is the exact UGC you want to do overall? So I'd like us to make a UGC that talks about how she used to be intimated by sewing, even though she had a sewing machine. So this, how did we come across one of these ideas by doing market research? Okay. Going back to what I said earlier, if I go back up right here, you can also look into to add libraries. One of my personal favorite libraries to look into is called Atria. You can look into a ton of ads of your competitors for inspo about the overall concept. And if you haven't yet watched this video, I highly recommend you check out this video of mine called the exact UGC ad frameworks of a $12 million ad spend company. Why? Because based on the how, based on the positioning, so as an example, an unaware ad or a solution aware ad or a problem aware ad. In the case of this example I did today with you, GPT told me my audience is solution aware. So what I want you to do is I want you to go through this video I made and I give you a bunch of different frameworks to structure your UGC ad based on awareness level. So if GPT told you in your case that you got to go solution aware, try it out. Essentially, check this video out, scroll through what I have in terms of frameworks and then pick one of these framework to tell GPT. So let me show you an example of that. Continuing on with the script or the prompt, I have GPT right here. I give it information about my persona. Now, this is all information that I found in a separate GPT thread. I give it information about the customer reviews that I analyze, which is why I'm telling you customer reviews are a gold mine right here. And then if I keep on scrolling, I give it information about the product that very straightforward. I just took that from my client's product page. So you can do the same on your side. If you don't yet have a product page, well, you can take that from a competitor's product page pains and needs addressed. This is a question that I also asked GPT in itself. What are the pains and needs that my customers outline in their reviews? And then now I ended things off by saying that based on what you know about the course and the reviews I sent you, putting yourself on the skin of someone that could buy the course please generate a storytelling like script on the concept of intimidated by making clothes after buying the masterclass. Pick this UGC recipe to build the script. I gave it a framework. I literally gave it a framework that comes exactly from this video to say, this is how I want you to structure your script because of the how, because of the how I want the script to sound. Okay. And this is what I did right here. Now it gave me a first version of a script. I thought personally, it didn't really fit. Like it seemed too negative, not positive enough. So I asked it, Hey, can you please rework that? Make it sound a little bit more positive. And I got a bang 
banger example right here, okay? Let's read this one together, right? So I've had a sewing machine sitting in my craft room for years. I kept telling myself I'd make my own clothes, but honestly, I was too intimidated to actually use it, okay? It's my hook. And it goes through all of those building blocks that come again from this video. So now I have the script. Let's take it to Arcads to make a fully AI powered UGC video. So what I'm gonna do right here is copy this script and then I'm gonna tell uh, GPT, please remove the quotations mark and the um, the the section headings like hook as an example. So that way I can have like a clean script to give our cats. All right, now I have a clean up version of the script. So all I got to do is just copy that. Then I got to head to our cats. Now our cats is an amazing tool that helps you turn a script into an AI human, which I know this sounds weird, that will read out the script and look incredibly realistic. Okay, so if you want, what you could do is as an example, if I click top left right here, I could edit and give context to our cats because our cats can also help you create a script. In the case of this video, I'm simply going to use a script that I would have already built. Now, something for you to know is you can also use speech to speech with our cats. What does that mean? If I paste in my script right here as an example, okay, and what I'll do is I'll show you in a second how to pick actors. If I don't like the intonation of the actors, so if I feel like they sound too monotone or they sound perhaps too excited and I want to calm them down a little bit, what I can do is I can record myself, my own audio going through the script with the exact pitch I want. So I could act as a UGC creator and I could say, you know, so I've had the sewing machine sitting in my craft room for years. I kept telling myself I would make my own clothes, but honestly, I was way too intimidated by actually using it. So I could literally clip that, upload that to Arcads. And then if I just remove my script right here, I could go speech to speech and it would match the tonality that I just gave essentially with a video. So again, this is just good for you to know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste in my script right here. Then I'm going to go to generated videos and I'll go to add actors. Okay. And this is where it gets super interesting. You can sift through hundreds and hundreds of actors right here. Arcads is adding new actors every single week right here. So you always have like new people coming in. You're never going to quote unquote run out of creators right here. And again, those are people that work 24 seven that are available and, and I won't haggle you to either lower deliverables or increase their rates. Okay. So what you can do right here is I would typically recommend you to pick out your persona. So I'm kind of going back from earlier, you know, based on what I would want. GPT kind of told me, Hey, I, I have mainly female 25 to 45. Okay. So this is kind of what I'll try and pick out on Arcads in itself. Okay. By the way, this is a slightly different product. So again, going to toss that aside for a second. If I go into my in internal research for this actual client for which I'm building an ad, typically it's woman around 45 to 50. Our audience is technically 55 to 65, but audience responds better to someone again, a little younger. It's most likely who they want to look like. So with that being said, we can go 45 to 50. All right, let's find out about these creators on our cat. So I'm going to go to tax. I'm going to go gender female, then age. I'm going to go adult and I'll probably pick senior also just to be sure right here. Um, honestly, when it comes to situation for now, I don't have any preferences for accessories. Neither. I also don't have any preferences for that. If you did on your side, you could. So Alice right here is an example of one of those actors that looks the part, honestly, with the type of audience we want to attract. So I'm just going to go ahead and select her top left. And then I can keep on going through my search to select other actors. My team told me internally that this specific client has audiences in, in, in various nationalities. So they basically kind of tell us, think of a housewife persona, try and go for a blonde, Asian, European with an accent does not matter. So great. I'll try and get diversity in those creators because what I'll try and do with you today is I'll pick a bunch of creators. I'll export videos of various creators and then we'll create a UGC piece together through editing that will make it seem like there's a lot of social proof, right? Because it'll be as if there's various creators talking about my product. So again, I picked the first one. Let me find a few others. So fast forward to now, I've now picked 10 actors that I want to generate a video with. So all I'll do now is I'll hit the next step at the bottom. And now what our cats gives me is a preview of the audio, how the audio will sound for every single creator. So what I simply can do is I can hit play, listen to the audio and then see if I want to tweak it. So if I do, I can open this up. Um, something that you can do. I personally don't do that, but you can actually swap a creator's voice for another creator's voice. So meaning you would have like one creator with someone else's voice. So they would just like match the voice to through the lip syncing essentially in there. Personally, I just leave it to default right here. So you can move with the stability and also the clarity in itself. I typically kind of leave them as is the more variable you put the stability, the more intonation there is. But sometimes you'll hear like a crazy high pitch for no reason. So again, just kind of keep it, I would say stable right there. Um, and then if you're happy by listening into all of those. So again, I recommend you just listen to all of the voices that you are generating on your side. If you want to tweak any, you can just play with the settings right here. If you're happy with them, you can just hit generate videos at the bottom. And now in itself, this is usually going to take about up to 30 to 45 minutes uh, to do. It says like it may take max 45 minutes. They say 10 minutes on average. In my experience, it takes about 15 minutes to a half an hour, especially if you have 
have more videos going on right here. So, so I'll just quickly go for a coffee break, take a walk, come back in a few minutes, see what the results are and show those with you guys. All right, we're now back. I decided to give it a couple of days to give the time to my editor to also edit the final video before showing you how everything looked like together. I also had the chance to catch a cold in the meantime, so my voice might sound a little different. But with that being said, as you can see from the point of we've left this video off, I now have all of the generated videos available for me to view right here. So basically, I can just click on one and hit download. And I'm just going to mute this right now and just kind of quick click play on it for you to see. You can basically see that like these videos, again, they look incredibly human like. And one of the reasons why I decided to export 10 videos, as mentioned earlier in the video, is actually for the following. So I wanted to, to create this feeling of social proof to see as if there were like many different women advocating for the same product. And that being said, one thing also I found incredibly interesting is that our target persona for that given client actually is women who are uh, uh, middle aged, I'd say. So, and when I say middle aged, actually, I got to be careful about that. I mean, more like 35 to 55, which probably isn't exactly middle aged. So apologies for anybody I might have offended who listened to that. But you can kind of see and I'll play a few more for you to see right here. Like again, those look like incredibly real. And there's like different scenarios right here. Like you can see some of these women are just directly looking into the camera. Others of these women are like looking at their phone from time to time. Some are holding a mug, which again, it makes this look incredibly genuine. So with that being said, last thing I do want to mention before I show you the final product is that this is also very, very good to combine with any of you who already have tons of B-roll on bank. I mean, by B-roll, I mean shots of you like showing a product, right? So if I had like my phone as an example right here, and I was like showcasing this pair of glasses, you know, it's like me showing the glasses in my hands or me showing myself, you know, going through someone's website or so on and so forth, right? And if I can just put in the B-roll together with all of these AI videos stacked, you end up with a pretty convincing piece of content. So with that being said, let me show you the V1 of the edited product that we've had with my editor from this script and all of these pieces of content made with our cats. So I've had this sewing machine sitting in my craft room for years. I kept telling myself I'd make my own clothes, but honestly, I was way too intimidated to actually use it. Every time I tried, I'd get frustrated. I followed commercial patterns. I took my time, but nothing ever seemed to fit right. It made me feel like I just wasn't good at it. And eventually, I just gave up. It turns out the problem wasn't me. It was the pattern. Commercial patterns are generic. They're not made to fit individual bodies. And that's why nothing I made ever fit the way I wanted it to. Then I found the So Ready Pattern Making Masterclass by and everything finally clicked. This course taught me how to make my own custom patterns tailored to fit me. I went from feeling completely defeated by sewing to being excited about it again. Now I'm not just sewing clothes, I'm creating garments that fit perfectly and it feels incredible. I can't even begin to tell you how good it feels to wear something I made with my own two hands and know it fits exactly how I want. My confidence in sewing has skyrocketed and I'm finally proud of what I'm creating. I even altered some old clothes that didn't fit me anymore. If you've been feeling stuck or intimidated like I was, this course is a game changer. It makes the whole process easy to follow. And before you know it, you'll be sewing clothes that fit you perfectly. Check it out and rediscover your love for sewing. And so, as you can see through that video, if we kind of go step by step, I have one creator here. If I go a little later, I have a second creator. Then I have just the voice in the background and while I, I'm using some B-roll that we've already had. Same creator once again, different creator, different creator. Now, some more B-roll. If I keep on going, just the voiceover. Now, creator again right here, creator again right there. And then if I keep going, you know, we end things off with this final creator. So we've stacked quite a few creators in that video. We've used one throughout uh, the, the, the B-roll footage that we have right here, which ends up creating this feeling of having many different people advocating for the product, very professionally done pieces of UGC. We've saved hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in creator costs by doing that. And last but not least, it really didn't take that much time. Again, you, you've been walking with me through this entire video is I've taken the time to explain in length every step. But if I was doing that and I wasn't recording, I could have gone through this entire process in honestly about an hour from start. So research all the way to scripting and finally to editing could have taken me in about an hour to make all of this happen because of our cats. And so if you want to check out our cats for yourself, I'm going to put a link in the description down below for you to check it out. And with that being said, if you are an e-commerce brand owner and you've made it all the way through this video and you want to work with a paid ads partner on Meta, TikTok and Oracle, Google, click the link down below in the description to book in a call to work with myself and the team at paidadvertising.com. On that note, I'm going to wish you an amazing day. Check out other videos of the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.